Hey guys, I just got to Fukuoka and I wanted something for dinner that, that's not too heavy because I'm still kind of suffering from my uh, devil level ramen challenge. So I thought the perfect meal would be a shabu shabu. But there's actually something in Japan called sukiyaki, which is similar to a shabu shabu, but, but it's not. So I'm here at a restaurant called Ninyocho and Mahan, which is one of the top sukiyaki slash shabu shabu places here in Fukuoka. And I've never had sukiyaki before, so I, I'm gonna find out what exactly is the difference between that and a shabu shabu because they look awfully similar. So right now comparing um, the ingredients of the sukiyaki and the shabu shabu, the ingredients look pretty similar. Also with the sukiyaki, it looks like it's gonna be pan cooked and shabu of course is kind of like a hot pot. It's gonna be boiled. This restaurant is actually over 120 years old. Really kind of hard to get in. So I'm really happy that I did. Look at that. So they cover my bag. Oh, thank you. They're really known for their shabu shabu and sukiyaki here. I'm gonna get both because I wanna compare what they're both like. Ooh, here's the hot pot, shabu shabu. Great. It's very traditional copper pot too, nice. Well, traditionally um, in China, charcoal will actually go in the middle and that's what's heating the pot, but it's beautiful. So our waitress is preparing our sauce right now. Oh, what is that? So basically she says when the hot pot bubbles, she takes the bubble and put it here. Never seen a bubble water before. Mm -hmm. Vinegar sauce mm -hmm. and sesame sauce. Sesame sauce and vinegar sauce? Yeah. Vinegar okay. Miso. Miso? Yeah. Great. Sauce. Great. Layu? Layu. What's layu? Uh, hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. You, you call it layu? Layu. Oh my gosh, that's, that's similar to Chinese. I guess great ingredients just transcend the language barrier. Seaweed soup? Seaweed soup. Ah, oh, beautiful. The seaweed soup is, is boiling and the aroma is getting intense. I feel like I'm by the ocean right now, except for, you know, I smell things I want to eat. Wow, look at this. That is the top quality Wagyu, and you guys can see the marble, all right? I mean, that's pretty apparent. This whole thing is like a road map. How beautiful is that? So this is all seasonal vegetables. It's not a lot, uh, but some cabbage, some watercress, onions, mushrooms, scallions, tofu, shiitake. Oh, it has like one big bean in the middle. Is that like Jack's bean? It's giant. Rice and... Uh, yeah, rice and uh, Japanese pickles. Pickles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the broth is ready. Look at that. Wow. Everything is cooked for you. Medium or well done? Medium is fine, thank you, yeah. And it's put into the sesame sauce. Wow, that looks heavenly. Look at it swimming. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you ever see swimming in your life? And this one is going into the vinegar sauce. It's beautiful. All right, let's try this beef out. Look at that. Whoa, the thing is so tender, it's just falling apart. Oh. Mm. Eating top quality Wagyu grilled in shabu shabu form is completely different. I mean, you guys see how easily this is falling apart, right? In shabu shabu form, because the meat is so thin, it almost doesn't feel like I was eating meat. It just feels like I'm eating like, maybe like a, like a slice of melty butter or, or slice of soak or, or something. I'm gonna dip my in the sesame sauce a little bit. Just add a tad of hot oil. I almost don't believe I'm eating meat. Could you not? I almost don't believe it. I would have thought that was entirely just, just like a slice of fat. I mean, not in a bad way. Or something else that's just completely dissolved so easily as soon as it goes into your mouth. One more time. Oh, by the way, this is the cutest thing ever. There we go. I like this hot oil too. Oh. When you're chewing that, like chewing through layers of that meat, you know, when it's folded, it's got like, you know, three, four layers you're munching down on that, is your teeth are like hot knives and that piece of meat is like butter. I thought eating top grade Wagyu grilled because I eating butter. This is even more the case. So as the meat is being eaten, all the rest of the spring collection is, uh, is going inside the shabu. I need some vegetables after that because that was almost too buttery for me. <laughs> Look at this, the tofu skin is branded. <laughs> mm. They aren't kidding about these fresh vegetables. I don't claim to be a veggie connoisseur, I'm not, but even I can tell this is fresh as heck. Mm. I think it's time to elevate the sesame sauce. Mm. Everything is so absolutely quality here. Actually, I forgot about the miso soup they have here. This looks like a lot thicker than the typical miso soup. Oh yeah, that is a lot stronger. That's delicious. Hey look, Jack's bean. Mm.
Mmm, miso is really good. And there is my sukiyaki plate. So obviously the biggest difference is the cooking method, shabu shabu, sukiyaki. And typically what I found out was sukiyaki um, is cooked in usually sake and soy sauce and some sugar and it's dipped in a raw egg. And this is an interesting instrument they're gonna cook with. Look at this. It's like something found in a jungle. Looks like a spear that Bear Grylls made to hunt fish. Sukiyaki beef, same as the shabu shabu. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is cooked until it's bubbling and there's some sugar inside. So you're gonna get a little caramelization and then the wagyu goes in. Oh, look at that. This flavor profile is gonna be entirely different than the shabu shabu. And it's different than grilling. Now the sake, the soy sauce, the sugar, is really gonna be infused inside the meat itself, look. So about 10 seconds on one side, and that's it. And it's dipped into the raw egg, and that's how you eat it. Oh, great, look at that. Similar vegetables to the shabu shabu is that it then goes into the sukiyaki. Thank you. So this one has some veggies, some noodles, the beef, all in the raw egg. This one, no difference with sukiyaki is, we don't need to dip it in anything. Everything's already cooked. We got the beef on this baby. Oh. Mmm. And when it's dipped into that egg, it brings this whole other element of creaminess to this dish. Mmm. It's almost magical. The flavors are definitely more it's sweeter and it's deeper than the shabu shabu because it's literally cooked in sauce and then dipped in an egg. Look at that. Mm. If I could equate how delicate this beef tastes, it's like a really, really soft piece of fish. But you know it's not a fish. Just texture-wise, it's as gentle as that. Last piece of shabu meat. <sighs> Gotta treasure it. This is all going into the sesame. love wagyu you gotta try wagyu with a shabu shabu i think it's almost almost better than just like a regular steak it's buttery or without without the grease if that's even possible like oh so now egg is going into the sukiyaki pan i think we're scrambling an egg little veggies on top we are scrambling an egg and the sake and the soy sauce and the meat residue and it's not like cooked very much and all that is going on top of just a tiny bit of rice oh this is gonna be magnificent wow look at this look how runny and delicious that egg looks give me a little spice for the rice and eggs some peppercorn some cumin and just a tiny bit there we go wow Hmm. Is it weird that uh, I'm enjoying this almost as much as the beef? These might be the most tender eggs I've ever had in my life. And every little bit of it, it's just soaked in that beautiful sake soy sauce sauce. I almost wish I could find an egg as big as Humpty Dumpty and have it all cooked like that. I know that might sound horrific to a lot of you, but that's just because you haven't had this egg yet. <laughs> and the final course, noodles in here. So here she's taking some of the broth that obviously is infused with so much flavor by now from the meats and veggies that's been stewing in there. And the noodle goes inside the broth, which looks like freshly made ramen. Black pepper. Sure. Black pepper. Mm -hmm. If you like, please dip noodles. Dip the noodles. Dip the noodles. Ah. As you like. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ah, this looks pretty amazing. Let's try the broth first. It's not as good as, as, as a typical hot pot broth because not as much ingredients have went in here. That's why you do kind of need to dip the noodles in, in, in the sauce a little bit. Mm. There's some top quality ramen though. You know what? I think that's actually pretty perfect. Dip the noodles in the dipping sauce. This can become a little more salty than you like. Take a drink of soup, balance everything out. Hit the repeat button. And that's a great way to finish off this meal. All right, that was by far the greatest, most delicious, most intricately prepared shabu shabu meal I have ever had. And I'm glad I'm able to try both the sukiyaki and the shabu shabu to really be able to tell the difference between the two. And the difference is quite huge. I think if I had to choose 
I like the sukiyaki more because it goes with rice more. It's saucier, it's more flavorful. Not saying the shabu shabu is bad. It's just different, it depends on your preference. And I'm a rice person. Also, I just wanna say, if you love your A5 Wagyu, if you love your Kobe, your Matsuzaka, if you love your top great beef, only had it in steak form like, like, like me, you need to try it in either shabu shabu or sukiyaki form. Remember how Kobe blew your mind? This will blow your mind again. I might like this better than a grilled steak. And that's saying a lot, a lot. I mean, that meat is so tender, I feel like that blow on it is gonna fall apart. Only downside is, of course, just like going to any place and ordering top quality Wagyu, it's not gonna be cheap. And honestly, it took both of these meals to kind of, kind of fill me up. If I, I think if I just order one or the other, I wouldn't be full at all. And as much money as I pay for one of these meals, it's, it's not gonna be the most economical meal you, you will have in Japan. But the whole experience, the traditional wait staff, this really awesome environment, having them literally cook every single ingredient and explain what they're doing and what the ingredient is right in front of you, I think that's pretty neat. I mean, this definitely is not like a weekly thing or even maybe a monthly thing, but it was absolutely delicious and I think worth a try. And I personally really enjoy my dining experience here. So if you wanna check it out, all the information is listed for you as always in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and until we eat again, I'll see you later.